Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to True Sound Studios. Today, I'm gonna to show you guys how to export your individual tracks so that you can send them off to somebody like me to further mix them. Now the DAW that I use is Cakewalk Sonar Platinum, but from what I know, you can do this on any of the Cakewalk DAWs. Okay, so let's get into it. Okay, so here is my project. You can see we got nine total tracks. So to prep for this properly, make sure that every single single one of your tracks is properly labeled with what exactly this track is. It's definitely like somewhat of an amateur thing to not label your tracks. All the studio engineers always, you know, complain about it. So of course it does help speed things up and we do appreciate it. So label your tracks. Now we can go ahead and export each individual track. So first thing you wanna do is make sure that none of the tracks are highlighted by just clicking an empty area where just a, an audio file isn't. And then what we can do is go up top here to file, then export, and then audio. So then this box will pop up. What we need to do is come down here where it says entire mix. We don't wanna do that. We want to go to tracks. So now you can see it actually highlighted. These are all of the tracks, all nine tracks that we're gonna export. And then the channel format, this one's again, really depends on who you're sending them to. For me, if something actually truly is mono and you send it as stereo, I'll just convert it, it's not a big deal. It's better to send it all as stereo than to try to decide which is mono and which is stereo and doing it wrong and then having to resend files and it just, it's just the best thing to do, at least how I prefer it, is just send it all as stereo. Now the sample rate, I do everything here at 48K 24 bit. That is the audio sample rate and bit rate that I create all my projects at. They're all at 48K 24 bit. And then the dithering on triangular. And we can leave all of these settings alone except for this one that I have unchecked, which says track effects. So if you click this and you keep that check mark on there, that means all of those plugins, all that processing you did to each individual track is gonna be exported like that. Now for me personally, I want everything as raw as humanly possible because I don't wanna to have to go back and try to undo something that you maybe did, maybe did too much EQ or way too much compression or did some sort of processing that is actually gonna make it more difficult and potentially even lower the quality of the overall mix. So what you would wanna do is just uncheck the track effect box. And then the last thing to do is really just create a folder to put all these files in. Now in my export import drive, I just have a, a file that's called trackouts. This happens to be the project and I'm just going to call it the exact same thing. JSON 107 2021. That's just how I label all my files. But then we're all ready to go. Now we can just click export. It's going to ask you, is this what you want to do? You click OK. And at the very top here, you can see it's mixing down everything and we are good to go. Now it's also a good thing to do if you've never done this before or you're unsure that the files were exported correctly, what you can do is create a new track in the same project that you just exported all this at. Okay, we can click on this, bring it to the beginning, go to file import. We can go find that folder we just exported everything to, select all, go to open and now we can just go and just listen to everything we've exported just by simply soloing it all and we can just go check these files this is something that really not many people do and then they send off files that are maybe fragmented maybe it's uh you know it's a bunch of vocals and they they accidentally didn't export every single vocal if you just go import everything that you just multi-track exported then you can go ahead and just make sure it's all correct another thing is the difference between stems and individual tracks or track outs those are two very different things if you guys don't know what that is i actually have a video that explains the difference between the two but in this case we are doing multi-track exports or what some people will call track outs but this is not stems. That is going to be a separate video where I show you guys how to export stems if you want to send stems out for maybe stem mastering or to do remixes. So guys, that's it for this video. Once again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to find True Sound Studios on Instagram. I post there every single day. It's also a really great way to get a hold of me, ask questions, you can share pictures and videos. It's just my favorite platform as of right now to, uh, to do the dialogue back and forth. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video, but Till the next one, I'll see you guys then.